Hi, my name is Dexter Evans, and I'm an attorney at Woodruff Johnson & Evans, and I'm here today to talk to you about payment of your medical bills. One of the questions that a client commonly has when they come to my firm is, uh, when, when I'm in an accident and I have medical treatment, who is paying for my medical bills, or who should be paying for my medical bills? The other person's insurance typically will not pay for your medical bills during the pendency of your case. They usually will make a settlement all-inclusive of everything, your medical bills, pain and suffering, loss of normal life, lost wages, at the very end of your case. So the question is, while I'm waiting for that, who is paying for those bills? And so there are a few sources that are the most common ones that you can look to to pay your medical bills. The first one I recommend is to go through your health insurance. Uh, why? Uh, because when health insurance pays for your medical bill, they get a discounted rate when they pay it. Under Illinois law, however, you're allowed to recover the entire bill. So you get that benefit of the discount. Additionally, most uh, times when an insurance company pays for your medical bills, um, when they're seeking reimbursement, they have to reduce whatever they're seeking by one third because you have an attorney working on the case. That is something called the common fund doctrine in Illinois. Sometimes your health insurance will not pay for a medical bill due to an accident. Other times a medical provider won't take health insurance because they know you have an accident and they want to put a lien on your case. So the second source I recommend clients look at is their own medical payments coverage through their own auto insurance. Uh, why is that a good idea? Because like health insurance, whatever your auto medical payments coverage pays, they have to reduce automatically by one third because you have an attorney working on the case. Again, that benefit goes to the client. Uh, the only difference between the health insurance pain and your own medical payments coverage from, through your auto insurance pain is that when auto insurance pays, they pay the full amount of the bill. They don't get a discounted rate. What if you don't have health insurance or it won't pay or you don't have auto medical payments coverage? The third way in which to have your bills taken care of is to ask them to put a lien on your case. Most times they will do that automatically. Sometimes you have to ask them to do it. Why would you want to have a lien put on your case? Because first, most of the time that will stop any type of collection efforts that could affect your credit. Uh, secondly, uh, even though we have to pay uh, any liens out of a potential settlement to you, uh, we're we're usually successful in being able to negotiate some type of reduction of those liens. In summary, when you're in an auto accident, there are usually three ways in which to have your medical bills paid. Obviously, most people can't afford to pay those out of pocket immediately. So the first source would be your health insurance. The second source would be your auto medical payments coverage. And the third way is to have a lien put on your case so that your attorney can try and negotiate a settlement uh, of that lien to get you more money in your pocket.